Hey guys, Double Wide. I haven't made a video in a little while and uh, I really haven't had anything too interesting. I've just been doing tune-ups and a lot of uh, blown head gassing jobs lately and valve jobs. Um, stuff I already have videos on but today I had something that I'm trying to do real quick and of course I run into an issue. So let me show you what's going on. So up on the lift table today I got a Honda HR214 and I pulled the plug out of this and I went to put in the new plug and I don't know how well you'll see this but this spark plug hole is really stripped. You can see that it's actually torn out on the bottom left and it's stripped really bad and I wasn't expecting that. Well when I pulled it out I realized it was a little bit loose. So uh, yeah we're going to try and retap this thing and uh, get it back together. So I just shut the garage door because the lighting is so bad. It's pretty bright outside. This is what I'm using. It's a spark plug hole tap chaser and I think that's 14 millimeter. And we're going to put a real sticky grease. Okay, This is a dielectrical grease super lube and it is super sticky, very tacky. So we'll put some of this on there and what this is going to do is catch any shavings hopefully otherwise this engine is going to be destroyed. And this is the first time working for this customer. Of course he didn't say anything about this. Well, it's starting to go in. It's getting stuck there. Uh, I brought the piston all the way up to the top. And now what we want to do is carefully try and turn this in. We want to go all the way to the tool seats. It's getting a little tight, so I'll go in reverse. But you can see how it's a little wobbly. I don't know if you can see it. Just gonna move the piston down a little, just so I'm not bottoming out on that. Say that's it. Yeah, it's a little wobbly for sure. But I think it'll be good as long as I can get a spark plug in there. There we go. The good news is there's not a whole lot of shavings. So hopefully they're stuck to that grease. I'm going to try and clean up the hole a little bit with uh, some Q-tips and grease. So I'm going to take a little more of this grease. Got two Q-tips at once. And I'm just going to maneuver it in here. Try and remove any debris. It's hard to tell if I got anything. I got this tool here. That little thing has a lot of leverage. So I'm going to bite down on this little paper towel. Put a little bit of grease on that. And see if I can't clean it out a little better. Got a new plug, NGK. Uh, it's definitely finding some threads. So let's 
binding a little bit right now, but I think we'll be able to work it in or last time I couldn't. Just gonna be sure not to over tighten it. That should be good. Generally, you can hand tighten a spark plug and the engine will run. So that's definitely in there pretty snug. So we'll see what happens, guys. Like I said, this thing was smoking, but it was overfilled with oil. And uh, I don't have the air filter in until tomorrow. Um, but hopefully it starts. And uh, excuse the outfit. I borrowed a jacket from Bruce Pender, and my wife hasn't gotten around to do any laundry, so I'm naked. Well, we've got it cleaned up. It took about a minute, maybe, to clear up. But now it's not smoking at all. And I'm imagining that that's burning off the residual oil. I had the thing flipped over because I power washed it. It was really dirty. Starting the blade, greased it all up. So, seems to be running pretty good. Maybe I'll try and cut some grass with it. Alright guys, well thanks for hanging out and watching. If you're not a subscriber, click on the notification and subscribe to the channel. Hopefully you learned something in this video. I'll put some links below to where you can get a spark plug tap just like the one I used. Thanks for watching guys. Have a good one.